Hey, hey, welcome to the Bag Hag Digest. Hello, beautiful bag lovers. It's Trina here. Welcome back to my channel once again. Uh, today's video is all about refurbishing an old Houston Louis Vuitton bag that I got from the secondhand market and with the hopes of inspiring you to do the same. It was really easy. Anyone can do it. And this is the result. Very simple tote. Uh, best to do it on the simple items because they stay classic, I think. I don't think this is ever gonna go to a style. You know, it's not an it bag, but uh, it, it looks not fantastic now. It looks like brand new. I don't think it ever came in an all black version, but I made it all black. Uh, so stay tuned, you guys, and see how I did it. So this is the bag before. Very nasty discoloration on the patent leather. And it's just a faded yellow. The straps are in great condition, but the bag itself, not so much. So we got a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. So what I'm gonna need is a whole bunch of things. I think first today what I'm gonna do is go in and actually dye the vachetta. So I've already prepped the vachetta. I've cleaned it with some baby wipes. I've gone in with some leather conditioner, so it's ready to have my dye applied directly to it. This time around I'm using uh, Fibing's um, leather dye, not the colors or what's it called, the uh, paint. Paint goes only on the surface, it might give a nicer look, but uh, long term it's not penetrating the leather so you might get chipping issues. And I don't want any of that, I actually want it to penetrate the material and permanently be black. So I'm going with dye, and it, you could use uh, Angelis or you could use Fibing's. Um, I just got a two for one special on this, so I'm going with this. So I'm gonna use that. But before I start dyeing the Vachetta today, I am gonna go in with some just plain old acetone nail polish remover. And I'm, this is just from the 100 yen store. I'm going to basically use some cotton dabs and just gently go over the whole surface of what was originally patent leather. It's probably worn off some time. Yeah, and that's just to prepare the surface to accept the dye when I go over the main parts of the bag. All right, here we go. I'm not rubbing too hard here. I'm just basically coating it with the acetone. I don't want to leave a, it to pool or anything, but uh, I am basically just rubbing the surface. And this stuff dries, as you know, if you've ever painted your nails. going to do is go in and just dye the piping and also the vachetta. I'm not going to be particularly clean about this because I don't mind so much if it gets on to the main parts of the bag because I'm going to be dyeing that black anyway. But um, the process for dyeing the vachetta is different. It's pretty straightforward. All I'm going to be doing is putting a couple of coats of uh, this on and then I'll put some um, Actually, at the end of the process, I'll put on uh, some finishing uh, product, and I'll, I'll show you that product when I have it. It's not here right now. Uh, but I'll use, be using the leather sheen after I dye the main part of the bag. I won't be putting any uh, other type of finisher on the patent itself, only to uh, protect the vachetta after I dye it. So let's go in with this. Actually, I have some of this stuff left, so I think I'm gonna finish off this bottle of Angelis. It might be a different result, but I very much doubt it. Black is black, I'm hoping. So I'll get through this bottle first before I dig into the five inks. Pour it into this little cup so I don't spill it. Make less of a mess, potentially. So put that there, just a wee bit. I'm known for spilling things, unfortunately. All right. Yep, I'm being really messy, guys. I'm just putting it on the leather directly, not worried about the pattern at all. I'll probably have to put a towel to wipe down um, around the edges because otherwise the dye will pool um, onto the pattern and that will might cause a problem. Although again, because I'm dealing with black, um, it's not such a big worry. Yeah, so I'm just going over this to prevent any pooling. I'll do a second coat, so it should be all right. Okay, let's
let's do the straps, why not? Oh, I almost don't want to do them, you know? They're so perfect and so, yeah, they're just so unblemished. But I, I do want the look of a whole black bag, I think. And also it's gonna look better over time. There won't be any stains. And then I don't have to be so careful when I'm painting this, so what the hell. And I have plenty of dye. The hardest part about the vachetta here is getting the threads, I think. So I'm gonna start with them around here. Getting into these nooks and crannies inside the strap here. I always find that fussy. No artist work here, you guys. Anyone can do this. gone in with uh, one coat of paint and as you can see although I don't have to be that careful this brush is pretty stiff that I've been working with and as a result it's spattered all over the place and that might be an issue in the end because basically when I do the vernis if you want to call it that um, this sort of patent gloss what I've learned that um, I should be doing is putting on separate coats at a time with one of these daubers and then wiping it off. So this in the end might show through. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to go with the flow and see how we do. So anyway, I've had enough of straight dyeing of the vachetta. I'm gonna let this first coat dry and I'm gonna go in and start dyeing the underside of the vernis now. And to do that, I'm just gonna Take this dopper here, wipe it across the whole thing, and then uh, quickly uh, use my rag to take up any excess. Uh, excess. But because this vernis, well, I've, I've already, as you know, I've gone over it with nail polish remover. I don't anticipate this pooling as much as some other potential vernis items, just because this item is really old, and I think a lot of it's just gonna penetrate through. We'll see in a minute. Yeah, as I anticipated, guys, it's soaking the stuff right up. I don't know if you can see that. It's not pooling, it's not resting off the top. It is actually penetrating. So I'm gonna wait for about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna rag over this and see how it looks. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, here we go. It's picking up. And I am applying some pressure here, unlike with the uh, nail polish remover, I'm really pushing a bit to try and get up the excess. Huh. Wow, that's only one coat. That's pretty amazing. I did not expect uh, that much to adhere to the surface. You can see the streaking at the top. It very much to me does look like a paint job rather than a dye job at the moment. Um, so we'll go in with another coat in a minute, but I just heard my laundry machine click, so I'm gonna deal with that right now, hold on. Okay, I've come back, you guys, with some gloves on. Um, good idea if you don't wanna get spatters all over your hands. I'm not too fussy, I can take a shower. Paint coughs on, comes off skin, of course. But if you're someone who is finicky about those things, do put on some gloves. So, let's go for coat number two, black on yellow. I'm really surprised at how much this is adhering. Okay, let's go for another sweep here. Long sweeps of the dye, covering all parts of the surface of an area. There we go. Just not rubbing too hard, I'm just coating it with this little thing that came with the dye bottle from Fibings. So there you go, it's coated. That was pretty easy, so I'm gonna Leave this for a few seconds, and maybe around 30 seconds, and then go over with the cloth again. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's about 30 seconds, let's go in. Okay, and as, I can, as you can see maybe, yeah, it's coming off a lot. 
You don't want to put it on too thick because it'll pick up dust and stuff. Um, it's better to go in several times with thin coats, I'm told. Okay, looks good. It's still streaky after I put on the uh, cloth, but it's getting darker and darker and the streaks are less and less visible. Well, definitely it's only one, but yeah, it's less visible than before. Okay, let's get up all the excess here. We don't want any dye in the little Louis Vuitton grooves here. No pooling, please. Looks pretty good though, eh? I think so. Oh, it's exciting. Have a new bag in the making. Okay, I think one more coat is going to suffice for this bag. It's got a bit of a yellowy undertone, but surprisingly the sheen is still there, isn't it? And I haven't even put on the finisher yet. It'll look even better after that. Okay, let's go in for number three. I'm using up the rest of my dye from Angelis. So the good thing is that if this dye is in fact different from the other dye I'm gonna be using, it's really not gonna show because from now on, I'll be using the same dye on the part of the bag that will be seen most often. The good thing is I'm also doing another coat of the piping at the same time. Okay, there we are guys. I think um, three coats with a sweep on each one is gonna be all I need. I think I've covered pretty much all the yellow. It looks pretty black to me. Uh, do you see any imperfections? I'll have a closer look off camera before I decide, but I think right now three is gonna be it. So I guess I'll go ahead and do the rest of the bag in the same fashion. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I just made a real mess opening my new bottle of leather dye. You gotta be, definitely make a clean workspace when you're doing this. I've got two plies of cardboard, uh, cardboard sorry, underneath my desk. Uh, look at the mess of the dye bottle I made. I just spilled it all over the place. So lots of rags around. Um, yeah, so if you don't like messes, don't be doing this project. <laughs> Okay, let's go in. Now, this is a much bigger surface than the bottom, so I think I'm gonna go in stages. I'm probably gonna take parts at a time and uh, hope for the best. Let's go in. Can't believe how well this is picking up the dye. Much better than I thought it would. Okay, that's much, that's a really big area. We'll stop there. And there goes my doorbell, better deal with that. So that was the NHK guy trying to sell me some stuff that I didn't need. Uh, so I went ahead and wiped off the first coat. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but to the face, you know, with one coat, it's uh, definitely a very light coloring. You can see the yellow shining through. You can also see the original discoloration of the bag. But I'm really hopeful, actually. I think after three coats, you're not gonna see a thing. It's gonna look spanking new. Very excited about this, guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna go over this yet. I'm gonna probably original black to the rest of this area here and wipe that off. Let's do that. I'm gonna save the top for last because that's more complicated. So surprised that this is not pooling. I guess there's less vernis on this item than um, newer bags. Okay, so as predicted, I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's a streak here between these two sections, and hopefully as I go over second and third coats, that will gradually disappear. So let's turn this guy over, and by the way, I can touch all this stuff. Um, it's a little bit tacky, but it's not uh, affecting everything like you would, it would with paint or other dyes. Very interesting project, this. Okay. So I've 
decided to cover a bigger area. I think it's more efficient. I covered more on the side there. All right, so 30 seconds. Look at this rag, eh? Might as well give the Vachetta a second coat while I'm at it. Hey, look at this. It's a little bit sticky and tacky still, but wow, it's black, you guys, and that's only one coat on the side. The bottom has three coats, and it's pretty perfect. Um, I think... I'm gonna finish up the top today and then I'm going to um, make sure everything's you know, wiped down and then probably go in maybe tomorrow. I want everything to dry well before I proceed and put a second coat on the handles. I don't think I'll need to put a second coat really on the Vachetta here because as you saw, I was coating it over here and even going in with it, I was worried that that was a stupid thing to do because going in with a towel over the paint might um, ruin the impact, but it's fine. Dude, it's fine. Can you see the streak, the difference here? Yeah, we'll have to fix that, eh? Okay, guys, so I have done a whole coat of the whole bag, uh, three coats of the bottom. I've done one and maybe a half part on the machetta. And now is the challenging part, which is the first coat of the inside part here, which is where I have to be really careful because I really don't want to have to dye the fabric in here. I'd like to leave it as is, so I'm going to have to go in very carefully now and uh, to speed through that video part footage for sure because that's going to be boring to watch. But I'm curious to see right now if I got any dye on the inside of the bag. So it's stuffed right now. Let's open it up and see what's looking like inside. Um, I, prob I guess the lighting isn't good enough for you to see, but I can see that there's no traces of dye inside the bag. Wonderful. Um, this unfortunately happened in another Louis Vuitton monogram bag I was dying a keep all speedy or speedy keep all or what's it called just keep all um, the dye did go through to the canvas uh, this is not the case here so wonderful I'm gonna take a new rag because I don't want to Again, get any parts on the non-leather, any, any dye on the non-leather parts. Okay, I'm gonna go in now with the other side, with the dauber again. It's just faster to do one sweep right away on the inside. Oh no, look what I did! Bugger! I'm gonna have to dye it now. <laughs> uh, I got too impatient. So when you dye the fabric inside a bag, you don't wanna use a leather dye, you wanna buy a fabric dye. So probably I'll nip out to the store at some point and get a uh, fabric dye to do that properly as well. Uh, I guess we're more than halfway through this bag project. It's already looking fabulous. Very pleased. It's very tacky at the moment, but because I've, um, you know, wiped it so many times, it's fine to touch. So um, it, I'm losing light here. Actually, the camera's pretty good at perceiving light, but it's quite dark now. So I will um, bring you back um, at another time uh, soon and go over the final touches and uh, another coat before that was final touches and of course also maybe some dye for the zipper and this is the tricky part i want that looking i mean it, it was a really 
cheap bag. I think I mentioned in my other video how little I paid for it. Um, so I bought this for the fun of it. So if I screw it up, it's not a big deal, but I'm kind of a perfectionist and I'd like to do a good job on this. So we'll catch you soon. Hey bag lovers, it's another day and I have done a few things off camera with this beautiful bag. Uh, first of all, I have gone in with three coats total, wiping um, between each coat after 30 seconds letting the dye sit on the surface. And I've wiped that down. I still have to go over that with baby wipes, wipes to get any residual dye off it before I go in with the sheen. And on the piping and the, the handles, the Vachetta leather pieces, I have gone in with two coats of the dye um, waiting a long time after the second coat and then I've gone in already with um, some resoline. So resoline, is that focusing enough for you? Resoline is a sealant to protect, to basically to seal your, your work to prevent any dye from, from going off. So the, the, the actual handles now, are, they're good to go. They're not gonna rub off on my hands and there's a nice sheen to them. I've also gone in and shined up some of the metal with some nail polish remover because the dye got on it, but I'll probably have to go in again, I think, because I, I, I ended up getting some resoline on it. So today what we're gonna do, I went out to the uh, local hardware store and got this pen. It's for fabric dyeing. I'm hoping this is gonna be good and I'm hoping it's gonna be resistant to water. So let's do that. Pretty easy peasy. I have to press to get in the corners though, but it's going in fine. I am gonna wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna do the underside as well and then I'll be done. Okay, as you can see, I've gone in with the dye and it looks fabulous. Um, the dye went through to the other side about 50% of the way, so I did end up having to go underneath uh, on the other side and touch that up. The hardest part was getting under the teeth. I don't know if you can see from here, but the marker got all destroyed. It's not pointy anymore, but that's okay. That's what it's built for. So, um, and I ended up keeping straight to the lines. I didn't get any dye where I didn't want to get it, so I'm quite pleased with the result. My only concern is that this marker is gonna be water fast, as I said, because um, it's a fabric paint marker, pigment ink. I just, I'm not 100% convinced that this is water resistant. We'll find out when it drips into the bag. <laughs> no, I, th I think it's gonna be good. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, you guys, is I am going to go, we're, we're done with the dyeing. We're done with everything. All I have to do now is go in with some sheen. When you're doing patent leather bags, apparently you're not supposed to finish it with resoline or sealant. You're just supposed to go in with this leather sheen. So before I put this on, I'm just gonna go with some baby wipes over the whole bag and um, hopefully take up any residual dye that might be lying around and uh, then we're done. Okay, there is an acrylic finish to this, so that's probably why it's gonna be fine to work as a finisher or a sealant. Let's try it. So, I hope you enjoyed that long video, my loves. This is the final product, as you saw. And I'm gonna give you some close-up shots at the end of this video, but just wanna restate how easy this was. Really, absolutely fantastic. I haven't worn it yet. It's been stuffed for a while, waiting for complete dryness, and it's been a few days now. It's completely watertight, I think. And I'm looking forward to wearing this. And in the future, if I don't end up wearing it, I'm definitely gonna pass it on to a family member or friend because I'm proud of it, and I wanna share the pride. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're not already and thumb me up. Doesn't sound right, does it? Give me a thumbs up. That is it for today. Bag Hag signing out.